Yeah, I'm talking fake nights, get my pay right Reminiscing what she say like If the pay right, bring your wishes Talking fake nights, get my pay right Hey, what's going on guys? It's Veracity Back with yet another video here on the channel Today, I'm going to show you guys the best OBS settings for 2020. Let's get straight into it. First thing we want to do is press the settings button right here. So in this general tab, you really don't need to change anything. This is basically just how OBS will look. And if you really change anything in here, it won't really affect any of the FPS in-game. Really, the only cool thing is that you can change the theme. Yours will probably look like this. And I just really like this dark theme. So I'll just click apply. First, let's go to video. Here, you can change the resolution. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that this base canvas resolution is the resolution of your monitor. So currently I have a 1080p monitor, so I just put that. And this output resolution is the actual video resolution. So I want to record in 1080p, so I would choose 1080p. And if you wanted to do 720p, just choose 1280 by 720 and this downscale filter, make sure it's on Lankzos, or this sharpened scaling 36 samples. And basically that makes it the highest quality it can. And make sure this is at 60 FPS. And play around with these values to see which is the best for your computer, because if you have a low end computer, I would probably choose 720p and just buy Bubic, buy Linear Area. Just try and find which one's the best for you. And if you have a lower end, again, I would choose 30fps. Alright, so now let's go to the Audio tab. Here, you can set the sample rate and the devices you want connected. So here... The sample rate I would set to 48 kilohertz to get the highest quality out of your audio. And this really depends on your setup. So I have a headset, so I would choose my Razer headset right here. And this really depends on your audio output. So like for example, desktop speakers, and other headsets and you can choose another audio output and this mic auxiliary audio that's your input device so I have two one on my headset and my Yeti microphone so you just choose your microphone and yeah, you don't really need to change anything right here. Alright, now we're done with this, so let's move on to the output tab. So, at first it'll look like this. This is the streaming tab. So, go to the recording tab. Now, make sure that the output mode is on advanced, because then you have a lot more stuff to change, and you have more control over the output. So, make sure this is on standard. And this is just your recording path. And recording format, I use MP4. Audio tracks is the amount of audio tracks you want on your video. I have one audio track for my desktop audio. And my second is for my microphone audio. This really depends on how many audio tracks you want. For the encoder, it really depends on which GPU you have or if you don't have one at all. So I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I really recommend this NVENC H264 NU. It increases FPS significantly. However, if you don't have like 
an NVIDIA GPU, if you have an AMD GPU, just choose the equivalent of this. But if you don't have a GPU, choose X264. I just don't recommend this X264 because it takes a lot of... It just takes a lot of CPU. And it decreases the amount of FPS you have in-game. So that's why I really don't recommend X264. But if you don't have anything else, of course, go with that. Now, down to rate control. I use CP CQP. And basically what this does is that it has a level. It keeps the bit rate similar to what this value is. If this value increases, then the quality of the video will decrease. If this decreases, then the quality will increase. I know it's kind of confusing, but... Yeah, and I kind of found the sweet spot at 15, so this may be different for you, but this is probably the best, for 1080p at least. And keyframe interval, make sure this is at 2. And preset, this depends on your specs. Now, I use max quality, but... Just play around with the, this value, see which one's the best for you, and try and find that sweet spot. And make sure this profile is high, and then make sure these two are checked, look ahead and psycho visual tuning. And GPU, this is the, if you have multiple GPUs, this you can change which GPU is being used for OBS. And don't change max B frames. Advanced here. Make sure that process priority is high. So this may cause a little bit of FPS loss in games but it does create a higher quality video because it's allocating more priority to this OBS and renderer make sure it's whatever it's your thing is I have direct 3d 11 color format make sure it's nb12 and the color space Make sure this is 709, and make sure color range is full. And, yeah, you don't need to change any of these other settings. And just click Apply, and OK. Now let's go to Scenes. Create a new scene. Let's name it Game, or something. And then Sources. Click the plus. And I highly recommend Game Capture. And create new, press OK. Now this window will pop up. So click Capture Specific Window, then click whatever your game is. And yeah, don't mess, up, don't mess around with any of these, unless if you don't want to capture the cursor and that stuff. And press OK. Now, now I highly recommend Game Capture because it increases the amount of FPS you have. And it doesn't capture all the unnecessary stuff. But if Game Capture doesn't work for some reason, if the game is not compatible or something, uh, just, just put Display Capture. Now that you have that, let's move on to the audio mixer. So you can see that I have desktop audio and mic audio. So I added, in the settings, I added two tracks. So 
click on this gear then click on advanced audio properties now this window will pop up now what you guys want to do is I have I want the desktop audio to be on track one so deselect track number two and I want the mic audio on track two so then deselect one a lot of people don't know how to do this so and I haven't seen many people talk about this, so hopefully this helps you out. So, yeah. And then press close. There we go. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to comment down below and check out all my other videos. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if this helped you guys out. And yeah. See you guys in the next video.